Uh, okay, so what essentially we are doing in uh, electronics? When we make integrated circuits, we are trying to put large number of devices in a smaller area of silicon okay, or semiconductor. So this is what we have already shown you this figure. So basically what has changed from 1900 down uh, to 1900 upper to 2000 let us see, you can see the dimensions of the devices have been changing say tens of meters uh, centimeters to as small as nanometers. Okay, hundreds of nanometers are now 90, 65, 45, 32, 22. So essentially we are reducing the dimension of the device. Okay. Now if you are reducing the dimension as I said yesterday, the advantage is the larger number of devices then can be put on the similar area. This is called downsizing. So in 100 years the size reduced by 1 million times and there have been many devices from stone age. Okay. We have never experienced such a tremendous reduction of devices in human history. Okay, that's what essentially microelectronics is all about. So communication wale source sakte to join microelectronics. Okay. So what does it do? It essentially does, as I said, we want to have high speed circuits and also low power. The capacitance essentially at least in mass devices. Uh, the power dissipation in a capacitor is because of the uh, displacement current which is CdV by dt and so the power which is consumed by device is TV square f, okay, TV square f. So smaller the C, less will be the power consumed, okay. Uh, also if the capacitance is smaller, the time taken to charge it to full VDD power supply voltage will be smaller because it will reach faster CdV by dt correspondingly we charge the capacitance faster, so speed will increase. So what is the advantage of reducing size? We reduce the power and we also increase the speed of the circuit. That is why this scaling was going on downsizing, scale down. Uh, since the number of transistors are very very small, I mean larger now because size is small, so in a small area you can put larger circuit. So the three advantages we got, that is why whole move was very important, keep reducing, keep reducing, keep reducing because we can get low power, high speed and larger circuit to put on the same area, okay. Like a PC can be put now all of it together on a single chip, okay, including all other peripherals. So the idea was why we were reducing, everyone asked earlier that why are we so fussy about reducing the size, this was the reason why we were looking for reducing the size. Who was teaching before? Achha, interesting subject hai. Electromagnetics hai. Kabhi aapko next year padhayenge. Kain nahi padha do. Okay, let's move further. Okay, so these are not very important. So, up to where it will go down? As I said, 22 nanometers Intel process is already on. CI also is working on 28, 22 nanometers. So, is IBM has already worked 22, dropped it and came back because of financial situation. These are the major companies which actually work on devices and circuits. Now can we go to 1 nanometer or less than a nanometer? So the difficulty will come because of the silicon atom sizes. Silicon atom has so much Armstrong, 1.6 Armstrong, let us say separated by 2.6 Armstrong, so 5 Armstrong ka periodicity has Uspe niche ke allow, atom hi so worry started that where this limit will come. Okay. Keep reducing, reducing care. every time you reduce, you may get some advantage, but the issue was this. So we were looking into day one, if I reduce, whether the limit will come. So we say 70, we actually used to say 1 micron, there was a short channel effect was what we call as a worst thing to happen in devices. We say, oh, who will cross? We crossed it. By 80s, oh 0.5, that is the limit. So why we saw the, the source drain resistance mass and it will be so high that the voltage will drop across that and nothing in the channel, no currents. Okay. You say that is the limit. I have gone through all of it in my career. Little late 80s, we slightly, we also started looking, if you reduce to 0.25, there is a possibility of the silicon dioxide layer. So electrons can tunnel, it is very thin, their electric field is high unless you reduce the voltage. 
So there was a problem of gate tunneling, but we could solve very easily that problem. We reduced the voltage. Okay. Then we say, okay, let's reduce to point one. So we say, oh, there are five, six parameters with below hundred Armstrongs. So that can't be done. Almost everyone says end of CMOS. And therefore they call it great brick wall. You can't go through it. Uh, yeah, we cross point 0.1, 100 nanometers we are across. Then they say, okay, 50 nanometer up to kuch nahi. This code will cross here. Okay. And now we are looking for 10 nanometer circuits and we now believe, we at least now believe, uh, that I think the quantum limits will finally set in. And once the quantum limits set in, uh, probably electronics may have to give away. We do not know. As I say, I keep saying I am teaching this course also and then doing myself research here yeah, and every time I have, I see, oh, come on, we cross. So today if I say, oh, 10 nanometer is limit, my lifetime, I don't know how many years I have to do it. So 3 nanometer ka device, ho sakta hai. We do not know. I do not want to really gauge now. So do not believe in textbook statements blindly. Never give up. No one knows future. Okay. There would be a solution. Okay. Think, think and think. Okay. Or, and that is for some smart guys, wait the time someone will think for you. This is the progression we are looking for. Either we have a light. Uh, for example, this is 90 nanometer. What is 90 essentially? I don't know whether we have so far said any time, but just to give an idea what length of device I am talking. Let's take a mass transistor. Anyway, a typical mass transistor has this kind of cross section. In a P semiconductor, there are two n plus regions. This is two dimensional picture, actually, it is a three dimensional device. There is a insulator which is normally used to be SiO2 or which there used to be a metal. So this is called gate, this is called source and this is called drain, this is called bulk. This is called channel length and if you see the width of the device, this is called channel width. The electron channel actually appears in this W and L area. Okay. So when I say reduce the dimension, I am saying reduce L and W. That is called shrinking. Proportionately even this will shrink, this will shrink. But the basic idea of device scaling or downsizing is reduce the channel length and correspondingly width if necessary. So these are called nodes, channel length. So earlier when we say 0.25 micron technology, it was essentially channel length for 0.25 micron. This even in 90 nanometer this was not correct. We only started doing scaling work by multiplying every time the last technology by 0.7. So 0.13 was the last one, 130 nanometer multiplied by 7, so it became 90 nanometer. But the gate length, you can see from here the way I listed, is not 90 but 50 nanometers. We already shunted. it. Okay. Similarly, when we went to 65 nanometers, 7.7 .7 of this, the gate length was 35, 45 nanometer, gate length of 25 nanometer, 32 node. This is called node. Node means 0.7 times the last one is the new technology node. Okay. What is the technology? As I said, Intel working now. 22 nanometers, okay. but the channel length is 10 nanometer, 100 Armstrongs. Okay. So now you look at the numbers I am talking. Okay. So that is where actually worry started because we learned a lot of physics. Most of the time earlier we studied classical mechanics. We were believing that Newton's law is fantastic, it's still fantastic, but uh, we always believe everything can be solved on that. Later when we started looking into more details on the mi mi micro scales, 
you find any electrons can have certain energy so it will not have it will be actually reflected by something it will may share the energy so how do we explain classically all that particularly in solid state that was the issue so we came up with quantum mechanics we started saying okay schrodinger equation is panacea of everything so still it is to many extent then we figured out that uh, someone said oh but how, how do you guarantee that it's a wave so someone said no it may be particle then if it is particle how can you apply schrodinger equation it's a wave equation so there were issues and issues so physics will keep forcing you to think differently but the best thing of circuits or devices is it does not understand physics chemistry maths and therefore it behaves as it wants preferably in your favor and that's the great thing about silicon that we always thought nothing will work and it worked when we made it it worked then we started looking why did it work so we created physics for it then we figured out the next okay, now ye bhi gaya then what do we think so that is why i keep saying that thinking always in technology at least i would say was always chasing what was observed now why i give this example i have some always have some points in telling when you get your second year lab this time device lab there will be some devices to be given first day itself measure iv characteristics of a diode and there will be some queries why this current is larger than this ab aap wah sir ko bolenge ki sir humko to ye padhaya nahi wo to bhai wale aapko wahi puchhenge to question ye tha if you do a experiment first maybe it will help you to understand better what i teach here this is one way of looking the life तो ऐसा लास्ट टू इयर्स में ऐसा हो गया है कि दिस स्केलिंग डाउन इज नॉट सो ग्रेट बट वी आर स्टिल लुकिंग फॉर एज आई से सिक्सटीन नैनोमीटर इलेवन नैनोमीटर डिवाइस इन लास्ट टू थाउजेंड टेन समर वेन आई वॉज इन टोक्यो आई एक्चुअली विजिट टोक्यो इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी माई फ्रेंड इज हिरो वर्क ऑन वेरी आई बी वेर वर्किंग ऑन थर्टी टू नैनोमीटर नो डिफरेंट मटेरियल तो वी वेंट टू तोशिबा Also, Sony. We found they have a circuit of 11 nanometers. Not large circuit, but they already have made 11 nanometer circuits. They are on the test right now. Okay. Even Intel has a line, test line, which is working on 16 and 11. But they announced 22 nanometer for general. All circuits now will come in 22 nanometer, which is commercial device. But on the research side, we already started working on 11 nanometers. So why I am giving all these examples? Just to give you an idea. Never give up. Things will improve. Devices कभी बंद नहीं होंगे. कुछ न कुछ निकलता रहेगा. ये लगता है. बस वो लगा ही है. If you see microprocessor, 72 Intel का पहला 4004. And now in 2008, you can see it is sub 25 nanometers. We are going to have already 22 nanometer process. This is sub 70 nanometer. And at that time, it was 10,000 nanometers, microns. So, how much difference? One micron or nanometers. The oxide thickness. This is also scaling. That's most important scale. That was 1,200 nanometers earlier, or 1.12 microns. Now it is 0.7 nanometers, 70 nanometers, uh, uh, 30 angstroms. They are working on frequencies of. 0.00075 gigahertz, so it's essentially megahertz. Just to compare, I am using 0.000. Uh, 2002 we started with the 2.3, and we believe now we may reach 30 gigahertz soon. Okay. The commercial available device is only 4.2 in the normal market, but if someone wants, they can give 8 gigahertz chips very costly. And future is 30 gigahertz. Here is where your research, everyone of you can do it. How to reach 30? Uh, power is uh, this. Earlier we used to consume hundreds of milliwatts, and now you look at the power, kilowatts. Okay. Now from milliwatts to kilowatts, then it was six times power has started increasing. The number of transistors is larger, so each is trying to drain some power. And total power consumption has increased enormously. I know I, I don't have a slide or not. It is said now that the temperature may rise equivalent of a nozzle of a rocket. So that kind of heating 
uh, yeah, already are written, sorry. Just for the sake of completeness, 2002, 10 watt per centimeter hot plate, 100 watt per centimeter surface of nuclear reactor, 2010, 1000 watt per centimeter rocket nozzle, and by 16, it will be sun surface. So, for the book, if someone wants to know more about this, more details are available. So, the solution which we are saying that heat generation increase cause number of transistors increase, clock frequency increases, solution is reduce the power supply, V kam karo ga, or V kitna kam karo, how much V I can do, okay, 1 volt, 0.8 volt, 600 millivolts, 100 millivolt pe aagai, to what is the problem with 100 millivolt supply, 100 millivolt is 4 kT by Q, kT by Q is called thermal noise, Typically in nature 2 to 3 kT by Q noise is present. So if I apply a power supply of say 100 millivolt, the transistor turns on and let us say at 100 millivolt which is called threshold. So it, you cannot guarantee whether it is on or off any time because noise will take over. Okay. So I cannot reduce power drastically. So I will have to keep power uh, voltage higher and if I keep power higher voltage I cannot reduce power. So, the circuit people should do something in which lesser heat is required to or dissipate faster. Ek research hai heat sink banana. Package ke upar ek aisa heat sink banana, so most of the heat withdraw kare faster. Uh, that also is a silicon device made out of silicon which is called MEMS micro channels, MEMS micro electromechanical systems in silicon you can create channels. Okay, very thin channels, water can run through that. Closed loop or aage ja ke metal plate hogi jo isko heat ko bahar kare. So the new technology in Intel is to look for a MEMS package uh, in which it can remove the heat part. That is another area of research which has a many other interesting devices but one such use of MEMS is in the cooling. Uh, as I say, keep everyone said whenever technology comes to end, which may end up. Are they die? I am look. Electron wavelength is 10 nanometers. We are already working on 10 nanometers. So that is where the limits are coming. You are coming close to the wavelength of electron. How electron is related to wavelength by what? The energy. E is equal to S C by lambda Einstein should then So that is where our problem. So if lambda is smaller, energy is higher. Energy is higher, electron temperature is higher. Big problem. So there are issues and issues which you may have to tackle in future. Maybe I as I say I may retire in two years. Mere samay tak intel karta rahe. So I am not worried. Like 5 nanometer gate length I have it is a length of 18 silicon atoms. But the device 2003 mein banaya gaya. So everyone used to say us that not possible. So koi no koi admi aisa rehta hai ki wo usko beat karta. So you are you can be one of them. Oh, so there will be limits because of electron wavelength. There will be if the barrier is very thin, electrons need not cross the barrier, but can pass through tunnel. Okay. This is called practical limit because of off leakage between source and drain. The leakage will so high that device to vaisa hi band ho jaye. So we say it is 3 nanometers and atomic distance is 0.3 nanometers. So here limits hain. But as I say, this is 2011 limits. I do not know next year or ahead. Where I last sentence hamesha hai, but no one knows the future. If you knew, even the astrologers do not know their own future, otherwise why will they do this business? As, as simple as that. Okay, okay different devices hai, aapko. So we are now in the limitation of downsizing, that is what everyone believes. Do you believe this or do not? Your choice. I do not. There is a solution. So first solution we came here, direct tunneling hai. If I increase the thickness of material, the field will be reduced. But I want scaling down. So I looked into my capacitance formula. I am smart guy, electrical engineer. 
बाकी लोग स्मार्ट नहीं ऐसा नहीं पर नहीं होते शायद एप्सलन ए बाय यू आर रिड्यूसिंग दिस यू आल्सो वांट टू रिड्यूस थी तो यू आर रिड्यूसिंग ए आल्सो एरिया बट वन मेथड इज यू कैन गो बिलो नाउ समथिंग You don't want to play with A too much because area is decided by heat capacity. So, इसको बढ़ा सकते हैं ना? So that epsilon by T is what we are looking for to increase epsilon. So instead of silicon dioxide, which has an epsilon of 11.9, look for high K materials. So, ये seven nanometer आने दो. उससे नीचे equivalent यदि thickness one nanometer है, तो seven times इसको बढ़ा दो. तो ये जो रिसर्च व्हाट आई एम वर्किंग विद माय फ्रेंड्स इन जापान इज ए सेंस इन दिस कॉल हाई के मटेरियल्स तो थिन गेट विल नाउ बिकम थिक गेट तो मच स्मॉलर लीकेज बिकॉज फील्ड तो क्या है वोल्टेज बाय डिस्टेंस थिकनेस बढ़ा दिया फील्ड कम हो गया टनल होगा नहीं टनल तभी हो सकता है इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज वेरी हाई एनर्जेटिक दे आर नॉट एनर्जेटिक दे कॉन्ट हम वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड ए बिग चैलेंज Remember, MOSFET has not been realized without silicon dioxide for almost 50 years. ये 2002 के बाद लोगों ने सोचा कि less why we are sticking to SiO2 so much because we found everything happened because of SiO2. So it was a very difficult decision for most researchers in technology to leave SiO2, so at least for the gate. So we started looking into rare earth materials from the periodic table. If you have chemistry, man, do not. Life in chemistry is very hard. Every thing is right. Chemistry is right. So it is right. Everywhere. So don't leave chemistry any time. Including everywhere, wherever you do, you ought to have good chemistry. So we started looking into uh, materials like lanthanum, cesium. Uh, Nobidium. I have actually worked recently with hafnium, and then lanthanum oxide and hafnium oxide. Okay. They are a dielectric constant of 16 and 25. I have also worked with earlier with tantalum, which has some problems. Tantalum oxide, uh, which has a dielectric constant of 16. So very good, but it has its own problems. Okay. So we went back, and the most uh, hafnium oxide. Is the one which Intel is using in its all microprocessor circuits, the hafnium oxide. They are slightly variant. It's called stack. So it's some other day. And uh, we have been working also on gallium oxide, europium oxide, rubidium oxide. Uh, we are trying to see whether the stack of the two. Yeah. So what is our problem? Problem was. Let me just give you an idea why I am interested in. This is silicon and this is silicon dioxide or insulate. There is an interface. Two different materials. If you put together, there will not be a same because their structure will be periodic structure is different. There is there, so there will be stress there. These are called states, electronic states, surface states or interface states. If it is open, it is called surface state. Bonds are not satisfied. Now all bonds of silicon will not be satisfied by oxygen. So this is called dangling bond, called interface. So if you put, but silicon is closest to silicon dioxide, so it has the largest number of bond satisfaction, so least stress. Stress actually reduces mobility some other time, so current goes down. So I want to reduce stress. But if I put some other material there, more because their pure structure will be even different, there will be larger interface stress. So what advantage I was getting in putting that, I may not get current at all. Okay, so why do do I do that? So we are trying to get which materials we have as good an interface, if not as best as it is, as close to that as possible. Therefore, the search. That's why. Is that clear? Why? Why so many materials are looked into? So I say hafnium based high K material. Uh, it's EOT means equivalent oxide thickness. What does that word mean? If SiO2 is to be put there. And its thickness is one nanometer. Wattage will be in half mm. Okay, proportion. Is that case called equivalent oxide thickness? Uh, we are trying different Intel's trade secret. Which material they are using? They never tell. Uh, 
I just told you other day, 45 nanometer process, the chief architect of that process was one of our students and my first BTP student, Kaiser Nisri. So even when he was showing me in Portland this, when this line was about to come up, 2008 or 7, he said, don't ask me any questions, at least inside the lab. Because he has been monitored, even if he is the chief and as a professor they somehow allowed me to be in because I knew bigger people. But they say, don't ask any query here. So they are very, very secretive about what they do. So I can tell you what they are doing, but I will not tell. Since I owe to non-disclosure agreements with them, so I will not tell. Uh, we are trying different methods. Then uh, going to 45 to 32, we are increasing twice the density. Switching power is, we are reducing 30 percent. We switch here, S. Everywhere S has this. 20 percent improvement, leakage power 5 times reduction, new technologies and leakage is 10 times less. 45 nanometer processor core TM2 family processor 9 running Windows Vista Linux, everything runs on that. 45 nanometer production in second half of 2008 already existing, is that clear? Source drain. Okay, you can see from here, this is a PN junction. You do anything but this leakage cannot be avoided. Okay, and that is where off power is, that is leaks. Yehi hum padhane wale hai, PN junction ka leakage kaise kam karte. Yehi aapko batayin. Okay. Uh, uh, this is actual device, actual circuit, Percy Intel. But they even said don't put it there. So I did not. But I tell you here, this is what. Tum kya kar loge, mein kya kar loge. Isko dekh ke hum kuch bana sakte nahi. But unko dar hai ki isko dekh ke aur koi log bana sakte nahi. EOT of 0.48. This is another result from our, that is our token Institute technology result. Uh, the plantum oxide gate. We are trying to reduce, this is called on power or on current versus this is leakage as well as this and we are getting as much as good IV characteristics as normal MOSFET even with lanthanum oxide. So to some extent we have solved interface problems, to some extent, there are other issues. As I say I can't tell you more details, so this is a Toshiba project, so I cannot tell you. Uh, you will be surprised that in IIT, I do not work on technology. I started a first IC technology lab in our ground floor NX, 84 to 88, we actually created a lab, first ever IC lab in India, in university. I worked till 94 or something, then I became head and once you become head, you, you lose head. So then I started doing administration. Then I, you know, student thought thinking I don't know anything, so lesser student come in. Then I realized that technology has very few jobs in India, there is no fab houses here. So I shifted to design because many companies in Bangalore wanted me to send students who are good in various design. So since 9, actually I started teaching design courses in 90s, but I became more designer in IIT Bombay. Most faculty and student think I am only VLSI, I don't know technology. Except the people whom I had taught, Ram Gopal Rao is my ex-student. He is now known great technologist, but he, was, he learned technology from me also, to some extent. So I, but I, when I go abroad, I worked in six months in Intel. Both places I worked in technology. So that's my first choice. Okay, these are some silicon carbide devices. And there are many choices we are making. That's the interesting part. A lot of materials. Either the coro process is very tough, but maybe you will get. This is Intel. So new material research will give us many future possibilities and the most important nano steamers. Not only for high K, new material for May, metal gate, new material for high K, new material for source gain, and new channel materials. Advantage. 
but ek baat you must all learn if i do one thing it influences all it's not a uncorrelated function okay? it's auto correlated which means you do this everything else changes and that is our worry if it changes in my favor i don't care but it doesn't then i am worried how do i control that if i control the yaat it will be so that is the designer's job and that is the technology job chalo thoda aage chal बहुत हो गया थोड़ा शो दिखा था ये वेफर साइज बोलते सेवेंटी नाइन में ये तीन इंच का वेफर दैट्स वॉट वी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग थ्री इंच वेफर दिस वॉज इन सेवेंटी फोर टू इंच आई वर्क बोथ इन एटी आई ऑल्सो वर्क ऑन फोर इंच वेफर चल वो नहीं रहा अच्छा अब वो बताना भूल गया कि अभी ये ट्वेल्व इंच है वेफर साइज इज दिस Earlier we used to handle by tweezer, you can't touch silicon. Now one tweezer, so your hand will fall. It's very big. So we have to keep it in racks and many other things we do. So now, what is the advantage of increasing size? Larger number of circuits can be taken from the same run, but they have their own problems. Seventy na IC la ne sa dikta tha. Ye Toshiba ka hai. ये टीएसएमसी का टीएसएमसी इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट सेमीकंडक्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी ओके ताइवान सेमीकंडक्टर कंपनी व्हिच एक्चुअली फैब्रिकेट चिप फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल लार्ज डीएलएसआई कंपनी डिजाइन कम एक्सेप्ट इंटेल आईबीएम एंड एक्सेल एवरीवन एल्स गेट फैब्रिकेटेड चिप्स थ्रू मोस्ट ऑफ देम थ्रू टीएसएमसी दीज आर कॉल्ड फाउंड्रीज व्हाट डज इट मीन यू मस्ट हैव सीन इन वर्कशॉप समवेयर यू टेक योर डिजाइन एंड गो एंड दे विल फैब्रिकेट एंड गिव टीएसएमसी इज अ फाउंड्री Anyone can come. They will craft for you. And if they are, if you follow their rules in your design, they will craft for you. So this is TSMC lab. This is Toshiba. This is Kuba. And you can see here what kind of lab facilities. It's called clean room. Now, what is clean is clean. For example, this room, even if it is, I don't think it's air conditioned well. If it all it is, uh, this will have one trillion. Half a micron particle, trillion per cubic feet floating there. The clean rooms which we are looking for is sub one. We are looking for less than one particle of 0.05 microns per cubic feet floating, because the feature size, the particle should not sit there. Okay. So the cleanliness which we require is ultimate. Okay. So when you work in. You are you have to wear all kinds of uh, clothes and everything which does not take dust. And uh, if there is a lady engineer in this, they are not allowed to use facials. They sorry, थोड़ा joke करना. In future, you may not require persons. A robot may walk. He may do your job. Okay. तो देखो वेफर साइज कैसा हो रहा है ये थोड़ा फन इसलिए देखा ना आपको कि वी आर हियर ओके हाउ डू यू मेक क्रिस्टल्स देट इज अ क्रिस्टल पुलर आपने सेवन स्टैंडर्ड में सोडियम क्लोराइड का कभी क्रिस्टल फुल किया है क्या नहीं किया तो कौन जाकर अभी भी करो एक सॉल्व लो इस लो इसको एक हॉर्स शू के वायर इससे हॉर्स वायर से ये करो जेल वायर से इसको डिप करके रखो इट विल ग्रो ओके इन द सोडियम क्लोराइड सॉल्यूशन इट इज नोन थिंग सेम मेथड कोई बहुत फर्क नहीं सिलिकन का मेल्ट बनाते हैं सिलिकन इज क्रिएटेड फ्रॉम विच मटेरियल सैंड बहुत सारा है सिलिका लाइफ अर्थ का वन थर्ड मटेरियल सैंड है तो सिलिकन के लिए एटलीस्ट सोर्स मटेरियल इंफिनेट है No other material has that much, so you can always get sand from everywhere. So to create silicon from sand is so very costly that not that it is so easy for everyone to do that. Okay, so ये बोलते हैं crystal puller. ये बताया कि कैसे कैसे वो same है. These are the device performances. These are the problems. So world beyond 2020 will be a different thinking from new paradigm. Paradigm. What will be? There is no decrease in gate length around 
फाइव नैनोमीटर थ्री रीजन नो इनक्रीज ऑफ ऑन करंट ऑन करंट एन अवेलेबल करंट टू डू ए चार्जिंग ऑफ कपास इफ दैट डजेंट इंक्रीज सो वाई डूज ऑल दैट फिर तो बढ़ेगा नहीं नो स्कैटरिंग ऑफ कैरियर इट विल इंक्रीज वेरी लार्ज ऑफ करंट तो वैसे ही रोक दोगे आप ऑफ का पावर ज्यादा है नो डिक्रीज ऑफ ग्रेट कैपेसिटन बाय अदर्स कैपेसिटन से दिस देश विल बी लार्जर दिस तो उसको छोटा करने में फायदा ये सब बढ़ गए एंड फ्यूज कॉस्ट तो व्हाट विल बी नो ग्रेट लेंथ असर ये बोलते हैं मूसला ये दिस इज अवर वे वी आर गोइंग डाउन तो नाउ वी आर स्टार्टेड लुकिंग ये तो सिलिकन हो गया अभी बियॉन्ड सिलिकन Can we do something beyond silicon? Will CMOS end in 2020? Uh, I don't know. May not be. As I said, we are 2050. Why I say 50? I said you already. I will not survive. You can't ask me to ask me. So finally, uh, bounds will come from where? Electronic bound will come because of sorry. थ्री के टी बाई बी एनर्जी वन नैनोमीटर स्पिन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन सेवेंटी के बी टी सेवन नैनोमीटर ऑप्टिकल थर्टी सेवन के बी ट्वेंटी नैनोमीटर दीज आर इसके जो मैक्सिम लिमिट देर फॉर होगी ये पांच नैनोमीटर जाएगा बीस और प्रैक्टिकल लिमिट फॉर ऑप्टिकल विद बी नाइन्थ नैनोमीटर एक आदमी ने प्रॉब्लम किया बिकॉज ही से Limit up to which energy can. If you want a smaller wavelength, your energy will be high. So the best way now is to move from electronic to optical. Okay, start looking for optical wavelengths. Okay, so look for optical devices. But you can't use silicon. So what you do is try to make silicon optical devices in silicon. You can always make electronic devices in silicon. Try to make optical devices in silicon. And then you may even marry them if necessary. So call optoelectronics. That's what your future is. Maybe we'll go ahead. I'll, I think lot of physics involved. So okay, it's called beyond moon. क्या होगा आगे? अभी देखो. थोड़ा सा मैं आपको बताता हूँ. ये ऐसा आपको वन मिलियन टाइम एक्सपांडेड वर्षन है ये डी रैम जो है आज का टू थाउजेंड फाइव का वो इतना छोटा हो जाएगा कि आप ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड जी बी डी रैम बना सकेंगे पॉसिबल है दिस इज ओल्ड आर्ट दिस इज दी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी आर्ट थिंग्स आर इंप्रूविंग ये माइक्रो था नानो हो गया एंड आई टी आर एस इज अ बॉडी विच इज ऑफ ऑल कंपनीज जिसका इंडस्ट्रियल रेट रोड मैप बनाते हैं टेक्नोलॉजी का दे एक्चुअली प्रोडक्ट वॉट इज नेक्स्ट ईयर एंड पीपुल ट्राई टू रीच दैट दैट वाई इज कॉल आई टी आर एस ये ब्रिक वॉल ऐसा आता है तो क्विकली नाउ रन थ्रू वॉट इज नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी Uh, anything which is uh, nano word, we call it nano. That's what. So why we should start telling that we are becoming nano technology? Chemists from the day one were nano people. They are working on atoms and molecules. So they are the four runners of nano technology. What we are now saying, nano electronics. Nano technology existed many many years, uh, alchemy times. So it's not very new or something. So don't get excited by. समन से वी आर वर्किंग ऑन नैनो अरे नैनो आज से हजार साल पहले भी नैनो ही करते तो दैट्स नॉट अ ग्रेट थिंग व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज समथिंग मोर इंपॉर्टेंट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर पॉलीमर्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर डीएनए काइंड ऑफ मटेरियल्स प्रोटीन्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर एनीथिंग समथिंग इक्वलेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन फाइव नैनोमीटर्स Essentially, we are looking for molecular electronics. Carbon chain. Can I chemistry? I am going to. Again, after chemistry, yes, sir. 
ये टाउलिन है नानो पोर्स कैसे बनाते हैं क्या एग्जाम्पल है कार्बन सिक्सटीन का एक आईवी करेक्टर से डायोड जैसा बनाया है देखो इट लुक्स लाइक डायोड तो वंस वाई व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द डायोड इन रिवर्स बायस इट इज ऑफ नो करंट इन फॉरवर्ड बायस इट गिव लार्जर करंट इट लुक्स लाइक व्हाट स्विच ऑन ऑफ ये भी स्विच बना सकते स्विच बना ये सर्किट बना दैट्स वॉट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर इन अनादर मटेरियल बायस इन आर लाइक इथियॉल मोनोलिथियॉल सी एट सी ट्वेल्व This is carbon 60 called fluorines. As a nano tube, what is hexagonal structure? Will I pass it? If now material we are working is called one of my students worked five years ago. Of course, no one worked later. It's called carbapentine. Carbapentine is a molecular protein uh, which has two kinds of spins. I will just show you the figure. First is called right-handed, other is called left-handed. Sorry, prochiral, right-handed, left-handed. What is left-handed, right-handed? If you have a left hand, take a mirror image. If the it looks the same, but they are not same. So if you have a glow in one hand, it doesn't fit into other. So it looks mirror of that. So atom may be here. If it's chirality, chirality is handedness. One is left-handed, the other is you have two states. राइट हैंडेड मटेरियल लेफ्ट हैंडेड मटेरियल इसको कन्वर्ट किया जा सकता है ऑप्टिकल लाइट थोड़ा सा फिगर दिखाता हूं एक टाइप का होगा तो वन दूसरे टाइप का होगा तो जीरो हो गया डिजिटल ए हाउ डू यू डू इट पिच बाय लाइट दे आर इश्यूज ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी स्पीड ऑल इश्यूज बट कैन बी डन Okay, we are going back. This is something we made some other day, and we say now we back to CMOS. Our only CMOS final is. Look, which character are they? Last line, I will show you. I think I am going wrong, or I don't know, it doubled. Okay, these new new devices. Around 2020, germanium and 3-5 compound channel FETs may have carbon nano FETs may come. We don't know. They are good candidates, but CMOS-based devices will still continue as the mainstream device. We will keep the Moore's law after 220 without downsizing the gate length. What's Moore's law to increase the number of transistor chips? We still increase. Number of transistor chips is limited by power. The issue is to reduce the power. To reduce the supply voltage is still very effective method. To develop devices with sufficiently high drain current under low supply voltage is all that we are looking for. Okay, always reliability and yield will be problems. Will happen when new technologies are introduced. But this will be solved. We all are there for this. Problems of downsizing will be solved by introducing new materials, new structures, new processes. It's too early to give up silicon. Last. ऐसा कोई सर्किट होगा जिसमें ऑल काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी ट्रांसफर विल बी पॉसिबल दिस इज कॉल्ड न्यू ब्रे वर्ल्ड यू वर्क फॉर दिस आई होप सो एम्बेड सिस्टम है सॉफ्टवेयर है हार्डवेयर है सब ऑप्टिकल मैग्नेटिक्स सब एनर्जी कन्वर्शन है और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स भी है ऐसा सर्किट अब आएगा वो आपके लिए इन फार फ्यूचर मोर इंटेलिजेंट सिस्टम आर्किटेक्चर विल सॉल्व द परफॉर्मेंस प्रॉब्लम बट नो वन नोज हाउ It's who will solve the problem, and finally, it's too early to give up silicon device. This is the last two slides. Interesting. Uh, in 1970s, US में एक Columbia Columbia uh, uh, Columbus नाम का एक uh, detective serial आता था. Serial इतना अच्छा था तब. This person called Dick Tracy used to be the detective and used to be very shadily. इसमें काफी अच्छा दिख रहा है. So everyone used to feel how will we solve the problem? But you had a huge brain. He created a watch in those days when no one knew about silicon chips. He actually showed a belt. He 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 show
it could do all of it language translation two way communication camera music money everything through this and even firing the bombs so it is tha this was dick tracy thoda sa 007 mein bond ke picture mein iski copy hai sony actually created in 1999 exactly what dick tracy in 25 years ago did okay that was conception this is reality Similar thing Samsung did. Same thing is available now. Now here is the last slide for you. This is silicon vapor like sun. It's on horizon. Now it depends on you whether you are an optimist or you are a pessimist. If you are an optimist, you say sun is just coming out. Okay, it's still to rise. If you are a pessimist, sun is going down. depends on the way you look at it at the end eight minute last slide ye aap yahi aap chahte hain aisa angle aajkal ab to chale gaye ramesh sir hamare distinguished alumina of iit bombay ab environmental minister nahi rahe unka ye aim tha ki aap kisi jungle mein ja ke ek laptop bath ke you can control the world everyone your offices may be anywhere through satellite you can sit with all nice i don't know it is nice but that's what he thought now this is for those who don't want to do mba executives might make final decision mbas about what will be produced but engineers would provide most of the ideas for new products after all engineers were the people who really knew the state of the art and we were there for the best equipped to prophesy the future changes Thank you for all of you and my all colleagues who gave me slides.